Getting Platinum in the Long Haul Summit, unlocking the Corvette ZR1 Long Range Edition. What's going on? My name is Sid and welcome back to a channel that today, yes, another month, another Summit car video. I don't, I, you know what? I used to, I used to do, th these were the, like the main thing I did. Back very long ago, like 20... 18, 19, end of 2018, early 2019, something like that. I used to do a lot of Summit Car videos, but now my channel is... It's got a lot more than just Summit Car videos. But today, we're going to be heading back in to the Summit to play the Long Haul Summit, show you the best ways to do the events, the best ways to get around the events, what vehicles. And I'm not going to lie, now that I've seen the Long Haul in-game, it looks a lot cooler than I thought it was. Because when I saw it come on screen... Corvette Summit car? R really? The Corvette hypercar, now they've made it a Summit car, but looking at it in-game, I don't know. Yes, my voice and my complexion, uh, it's its always early for me to film in Summit videos, so do leave me be. I, I'm tired, but I'm always out here getting you lot the content you lot deserve. Of course, the links are in the description. There's like Discord and um, all those other links, like the merch and shorts channel, that kind of stuff. Check all that stuff out. Uh, I, I, in all fairness, I actually don't think there is anything else to talk about in this intro. So, the game. And here we are, the Long Haul Live Summit. Take some rest and get ready. <laughs> Not the time I needed to hear that. Bit, bit earlier would have been nice. Ready to race across Motor Nation. This week, you will have to keep your eyes open to reach the top spot of the leaderboard. Eh, as far as Summit descriptions go, not, not, the, not the biggest and greatest thing they've done. They've definitely done some more, more. They could have done something to grab the reader's attention a bit more, but that may just be the GCSE English in me. Okay, I shouldn't have loaded, like, I'm literally just staring at this. Thank you. Why is that my favorite vehicle? Okay, you know what? There we go. <laughs> Teleporting over to the summit now. Here we go. Right, let me just, like, my, it's, oh, okay. Look at me being all smart and have my HQ mailbox. I... Aren't I prepared? Ah, yes, and these monster truck parts. Speaking of, uh, yesterday's bet that I made was beaten at about one in the morning by Smooth Cactus. Yes, the guy who had already beaten me. Also, I want to check this, right? So what are we looking at? So apparently it's meant to be one from every update or something along those lines. Kings of Mayhem or something like that. It depends what event that is. You've got a chase event, a stunt event, and a, of course, summer in Hollywood. I assume that's like the last years of updates then or so something. It's something. But yes, it was beaten by Smooth Cactus at around, he went back on PS4, got a run there. Uh, at around 1 in the morning. However, he declined the money and no one else spoke up before the timer had ended. Although I was beaten, but that person never ended up getting to me as far as I'm aware. And Smooth Cactus declined the money, so on request of someone in the Crew 2 Discord server, the money will be going to Cancer Research. And I will be updating the comment uh, to say that. But yeah, let's go into the Stalin. Oh, it's this escape. Huh, I don't see this one that often. Okay, well, I guess let's switch to the HX. Also, the Eldritch Nitro is, is... Huh. Like, I mean, I don't really have many purple cars. Oh, in all fairness, it would go on something like this, but I'm already using the pink Nitro that we got a while ago. I don't remember what we... I, I actually don't remember what we got that Nitro with, but... That's that's the one I'm using already. Of course, if you've been around, you've been around, you know, HX concept, these parts boosted, these pro settings, run them. There we go. Let's do this. There we go. Engine sounds take their time. You know what? In all fairness, it feels like it's been a while. I think I took a little bit of a, a little bit of a step back from the crew, didn't stream yesterday either, which of course be aware that tonight I'm gonna be doing an improving summit scores. Stream, so stick around for that. But yeah, I didn't stream yesterday. Okay, come on. I didn't stream uh, yesterday, and I, I didn't stream on Saturday, Sunday, I think. But that was because on Saturday I did stream. Because normally I take one day off a week, which is normally Saturday. But Saturday was UV forward, so I streamed that. But, oh, and there we go. Easy. Let's move on to the next. Oh, wait, actually, let's get our points first. 
156k there you go let's go on to the next skill which is another slalom let me check what parts i got in the frochester uh frochester frochester of course these parts these processes you don't uh, uh, that was a bit quick oh there you go now i'm not really too sure about those pro settings because i am a man who does not like changing pro settings so i use the same pro settings for races i use the same pro settings for jesus this thing is way too fast for slaloms, for boy smashing, I use the same process. But yeah, like I was saying, like, it feels fresh. It feels fresh at the moment. We came off a very bad summit. Like, I enjoyed one of the events in the summit, so that made it a lot easier. But to, and, and not the summit easier, is it easier to bear how boring that last summit was? But we came off a bad summit, and now we are chilling. Oh my god. I'm. I. <sighs> there we go. Okay actually made it that time there we go i'm not actually sure how many extra points that really gave us though i don't think it was a lot but obviously i will show a better score uh yeah we still would have got 150 154k but now to the low attitude jesus it is hard keeping a coherent conversation doing skills because they just be so quickly done but of course we're moving on to other stuff soon but that definitely looks like going the other way is best, but I might be wrong. All right, and... Oh, no. I've absolutely shambles that. Okay, what I was intending there was this. Jesus, without extreme mode, these things are so stale feeling. Let me just make sure again that I have... Oh, that's why it felt stale. It doesn't have any parts on it. Oh, that's because this thing does. Right, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Bloody hell. There we go. What am I even doing? And... I... I just get worse and worse at this game day by day. Here we go. Right. And... Switch in directions. Now, going the right way. Grabbing that. And... There we go. Are you... Even in the sky, the traffic screws me over. Okay, come on. Of course, if you're unaware why I'm going upside down, your multiplier when you're upside down goes up to like 3.6. If you're... I think it goes up to 3.6 if I'm very close. But yeah, even 3.5, 3.3. All of those are higher than the 3 if you weren't going upside down. And then apparently now... Okay, there we go. Nope. Nice. Okay, you know what? I could probably get a really clean run on stream if I tried, but at the moment, this is going to have to do. Because regardless, I think this is going to be a... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. There we go. Let's see what points that is. 154k. We could probably squeeze that to 156. But the first actual event. Okay, here we go. Rallycross Glacier Park, Japan. I'd assume... Yep, everyone's doing it in the EVO, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, bloody, not Evo, Lancer. I, I expected nothing else. The Lancer is so aggressively meta, it's, 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 it's just dumb. Okay, so where are my good rally cross parts then? Okay, second question, why are they on the Audi? Uh, here we go, Lancer, there's the parts. Now, some of them are boosted, apparently. I've only got like half a boosted set. Don't know what that happened, but it just has, apparently. I don't know, there was a big gap I took on this game, and then sometimes I, don't, I just like, you know, the crew, I'm like, ah, ugh, ugh. So I, I guess I just have one side of these boosted parts. Or maybe they're hidden on some other car. Who's to say? <laughs> Here we go. Now, I... It might be some questionable customization. Okay, I know. But I always have my, uh... This thing, this Lancer. I have it with this livery in this color. But the vanities, I will switch out based on the theme of the season. And these were the vanities that I was given to customize it for this season. So, of course, minus the pink uh, neon underglow and tires. Which I just put on myself because I'm not using... I'm not using the Eldritch tires. Or the Eldritch underglow. Which I actually get full fairness. The Eldritch underglow would look cool on like a boat. That would be cool. But oh it's this one. It's the one with all the cuts. The cuts. I oh, know this one. Yeah, this one's this one's alright. This one's alright. At least I think it's the one with all the cuts. It must be the one with like a handful of cuts. But of course, as you can see, you can see me doing cuts. And there you go. It's the, it's this simple. It's this simple. There you go. Like yeah. 
just skip all the turns, basically. You see a turn, you can you can probably skip it. But you have to not miss checkpoints. If you miss checkpoints, you're going to get spawned in a body place. This one, you can actually just take. That that one, you don't lose too much time on. And there you go. Okay, I think I definitely could have cut that one as well, but apparently I just decided not to. Hey, well, there you go. More time saving that can be done. Now, there's a cut here. But it's one of the most annoying ones to make, in my opinion. It probably isn't. Well, it is in my opinion, but in a more general speaking terms, it's probably not. You saw me do it, cut through those trees. Simple as, simple as. Other than that, you know, they have actually picked an alright race. I've, I, I remember looking at this um, summit when it was on the board. It's actually, yeah, it's definitely a, a good summit. And it's especially refreshing after something like... Oh yeah, make sure you don't go horrendously wide there, by the way. See, I, I kind of did. Yeah, but it's especially refreshing after Monster Crunch, but... A 2 minute 51, that's probably decent. I'm sure a sweat would look at that and spit on me, but in general speaking terms, it's decent. 128k. Let's get to the next race. Here we go, powerboat. Oh, it's the bloody Miami Surf and Turf. Okay, I believe it or not, it just seems that the meta vehicles are the ones to go to. And, I mean, live extreme events in the summit are... Ah. The only thing that really annoys me is that I have to switch out the parts. If, if I didn't have to switch out power vote parts, that's, yeah. Honestly, I don't mind if there's a live extreme in the summit. Just please give us a way of grouping a set of gold parts so we can make them a set. Like, I don't know, put it like here, just above the gearbox. You click there. And you can create a set or apply a set and it just instantly switches out that set of parts. So I can just go, oh, and now I want to put on my skilled set or my followers set or my buck set. Ah, oh, power boat, the Frosha. Rally raid is again the meta, which I believe my meta rally raid will have the meta rally raid parts. It does. Are these the boosted? I believe they would be 11. And I think half of them aren't boosted. I'm fairly certain. Okay, or or maybe all of them are. Okay, I guess I guess all of them are. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then hypercar. I'm personally gonna be going with it's the it's the little trifecta again: the La Voiture Noir, the Magma, or the Emerald. I personally prefer the Emerald. However, the La Voiture Noir is a very good substitute. Now, what on earth has my? Why does this have parts on it? Okay, I guess not. Oh, right, yeah, this summit. Uh. Oh, you know what? This thing's good for escapes. I'll keep parts on this thing. Here we go. My magma, because I, I I, like, okay, it looks the sweatiest out of the three. Look, you got this. It's got a bunch of pinks on it. All right, they match. It's, you got this, which is, it's, it's, it's all right. It's got greens, but this thing looks aggressive. But, of course, those are the three cars you want to be using, three vehicles. Let's go into the Miami Surf and Turf. I'm fairly certain the hypercar event wasn't it just South Trip, I think. South Trip. I believe it was. Here we go. Frosha. Um Oh bloody yeah, where's the bloody um there it is. And Magma. Here we go. Oh I mean, I won't make you watch it, but I'm annoyed that I have to watch it. There we go. AIs couldn't matter less. I have nitroed inefficiently. On Powerboat, you're kind of just meant to keep your keep your speed up. Okay, nice. Yep, yep. Smooth, Sid. Smooth, smooth. You don't really use, like, bursts of nitro. You kind of just, like... Okay, it's swaying, Jesus. Oh, and here we go. We're already done with the Powerboat bit. You can see that... The laws of reality are just being shifted. Here we go. We're in the old, uh, the old, the old Ford Raptor. Now the strategy here is just to skip jumps. It's, it's that's essentially the whole strategy. And I'm not, I'm not retrying. I'm not retrying. You get what I tried to do there. I refuse to retry. <laughs> this might be a bit of a bad run. Some of them you gotta take. Most of them you can skip. That, I think I did the opposite order of trying to skip and trying to, yeah. I mean, 
it's, it's not the hardest thing in the world. I know you can skip that one. I should have. It's a lot harder than it. It's a lot harder than it looks. Okay, the, these things bouncing around all the time is 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 yeah, a lot harder than it looks. I okay, vaguely know when it ends. Oh, I guess I I didn't. But there you go. You can use up all the nitro there. And now let's switch over to hypercar. You know what? This is actually one of the best ones they could have picked. Genuinely, one of the best ones they could have picked. It's actually just like a. It's a much more playable short one. As far as live extremes go, definitely the best one they could have picked. Oh, never mind. This bit is just traffic RNG. Huh. The, uh. <laughs> okay, I will keep in mind to not do that. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love when the car just wobbles to hit something. There we go. Uh, could have made that a lot better, but I think it was still decent. There's another turn at some point. But mostly it's just a straight line race, which, yes, is just avoiding traffic. But when, when it's this wide of a road and when it's this straight... Oh, that's the end. Oh. Huh. Well, that was actually the best live extreme they could have picked. Okay, I don't need a cutscene. Right, can I skip? I can, yeah, thank you. 3 minutes 50, that's probably bad. 120k! I can improve that a lot. But... Uh, event, as in next event. Oh, it's vehicle force, so yeah, let's just get into that. Here we go. Whoa, okay. This thing, <laughs> this thing looks, yeah, you know what? It gets a pass from me. The nitro being on the roof, on the on the top, sorry. Like, already, you're, you're pulling on my heartstrings there, putting the nitro on the top like that. And then just look how thick it is, Jesus Christ. This thing's thicker than Loba. I <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? This thing absolutely gets a pass in my book. 100%. Let me check that interior. I don't... I, I assume it's just the same interior as the other one, but like... This is cool. <laughs> Comparing this to the experience I had driving the Corvette hypercar back when it was first added, night and day. Absolute night and day. Like, completely different story with this one. Like, this thing is just insane. <laughs> oh, I can imagine this thing with a different livery, different color scheme, vanities. Ah, oh, this thing would look good. And it's a simple race they chose as well. It's a very simple race. I'm actually very curious because now, now that the nitro is on the top, I always feel obligated to have a much better vanity color scheme now. Because nitros on the top there look very cool very often. I think handles quite nice as well, but no parts on it. Like, contrasting to the plane that was just so sluggish when it didn't have parts on it, this thing handles very nicely. And because it's got this thick of a wide body, like, <laughs> it has to be slightly overpowered in some aspect. Oh, we're maxing out at about 231-ish. Not the worst. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell you I'm not that much of an in-depth sweat. As far as hyper... I'm being flashbang. As far as hypercar summit cars go, it's not exactly the worst one. <laughs> oh, and that's how I make this turn. Oh, no. Please survive. Survive. Oh, it is. Um. Huh. Well, that was... Smooth. Like, the convertible nature of it is cool as well. I wonder if... It won't have customization, I know that. But it would be nice if they let us put a roof on it. Depending on if the Corvette IRL has a roof. Oh, come on. Yep, okay, good. And then one shortcut left. Here we go. Ah, I might have miscalculated that. No. Easy, just like that. You know what? One of the better summits in a long time. One of the, one of the way better summits. This absolutely gets a pass from me. Absolutely. And just like that, the long haul, long range edition. I call it the long range edition though. I might actually just refer to it as the LR because that sounds better than the long range edition. Could have made a much better name, but 120k, 126k score. The big edition would actually be kind of banging. Right, Combi Bus Street. Is that way? Oh, okay, France. Yeah, no, I thought it was, um... I thought it was going to be a restriction that means I'd have to take parts off of my magma. 
I'm glad I don't have to take parts off my magma. I don't want to talk about it, okay? I, do, I can explain. So I was doing a livery editing competition. And in that competition, I like, as a meme, uh, the, the like, you, you know, people could submit their liveries and they could enter. And as a meme, I chose anime to be the, um, the, the, the theme of the competition. Let me put some vanities on it. And I thought, you know, what, I'll enter the competition as well. I, obviously, I didn't give myself the win, but <laughs> this is what I ended up with. Oh, my. Oh, my days. Uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, I'm going to skip me putting vanities on it. Uh, let's go to the event. So here we go. Oh, it's this race. Oh, this isn't the worst. Also, I like uh, the. You know what? I slandered the coffee and cream tires before because I, I thought they were bad. They look quite nice on this thing. Also, the pro settings I'm using were by a player on PC, Mr. Accor himself. But his stock pro settings were different. Now, this is a thing that happens quite a lot on this game. Don't tell me why. Some cars just have different stock pro settings on PC to PS4. Don't, again, don't ask me why. This is one of the, I, as far as I remember, as far as I, <laughs> ignore the livery. As far as I remember, this is one of the better street races they could have picked. I, I'm fairly certain it's quite a straightforward one. I know it's a, it's a PVP one, and it's one of the ones that I don't exactly like. I'm not, I, as soon as someone selects it in PvP, I'm not like, ah, filled with anguish and animosity, like the podcast. Link in description. Oh, yes, yeah, this one. Okay, yeah, sweet. You just gotta know these cuts, and then there you go. You're sweet. The lighting is making my bus glow luminescent, but... At least the back of it. Ah, you know, overall, not gonna lie. A very, <laughs> ironically enough, an uneventful event. Oh, here we go. Again, just a simple cut, the cut, there you go, cut the turn. Like, honestly, I'm not even sure how much time I could really save um, on stream tonight, because most of these events are quite straightforward. Obviously, there's some big, like, you know, mess-ups I've had, but that's just about getting one clean run. Like, even there, that little turn, like, I could probably try and get every turn clean. Okay, checkpoint has launched me across the road, and we're already near the end. All of these events have just been so, like, oh, we're already about to be done with the event. Okay. Like, genuinely a nice summit. Huh. And here we go. Across the finish line at 2 minutes 50. What kind of points are we looking at? Uh, 125k. Not the worst. I think, at least. It might be, the, it might actually be the worst. It might genuinely be rock bottom. We could be the worst. But as far as, as far as I'm concerned... It's not the worst. Let's go straight into that because we've already got the parts and stuff on it. Here we go. Oh, and everyone else is in Citroen. Oh, wait, wait, is Citroen French? Is Citroen French? Citroen Creative Technology. I guess that sounds kind of French. Creative Technology. Hmm. Oh, yeah, of course it's of course it's French. What am I saying? I actually have two brain cells and neither of them talk to each other. Oh, and it's this event. I don't... I don't like this turn on this event. The rest of this event's alright, not gonna lie. There we go. Again, it's another just sort of straightforward hypercar race. Ah, okay, I stopped turning mid-turn, which was a bad idea. Where am I going? To the start of the race is where I'm going. Oh, here we go. How about I don't be an AI this time? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna call it clean enough. Then that's a day. Again, another PvP event. Like, they're all events I know as well. Like, it's it's just... It's just a good summit. But I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop, you know, just brown-nosing the summit. Here we go. Let's carry on. Also, if you've watched this long, or if you only wanted to watch this event, so you skipped to this event, I guess you got lucky. Dig around till the end of the video for an exclusive teaser that has already been seen by some because I uploaded it unlisted yesterday but only posted it in the Discord and a community post. Stick around for a teaser, the same teaser if you've already seen it, at the end of this video for a video that is coming out. Uh, take this uh, here. There you go. Simple as. Uh, for a video that is coming out tomorrow. Stick around to see that at the end of this video. It's, it's been a long time coming and it's, it's going to be an interesting video. It's... The, honestly, one of the biggest curveballs on my channel so far. Oh no! 
I was about to baguette in the baguette. Oh, I, uh, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to talk about it. And that's what I meant by baguette. Not gonna lie, one of the turns that I still don't know how to make in this race. I've been playing it that long, and I still have no idea how to make that turn. But I mean, I did it all right there. Probably not the fastest way I could have. But there we are, across the finish line, and a three minute thirty one. Not the worst, I don't think. Uh, 128k points. 28, 29-ish, I guess. I mean, we're coming towards the end, fellas. Let's go into the final race. Where, what, what is the final race? UK Alpha GP. UK? Huh. Alpha GP. Which one of these is British? Is this thing British? No, French. No. Okay, so we're using one of these. Which one of the Red Bull cars are we using? Oh, we're we're using the Disruption Edition. We're de we're definitely using the Disruption Edition. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what these parts or where from. I apparently I don't have good Alpha GP parts. That's something I am learning today. Um, these are the best parts I have. Uh, it's it seems to be the case. I don't see anything else. I don't see anything with refill speed. It's just these boosted forensic uh and pure parts and only some of them are boosted and i haven't even customized this thing in who knows how long there you go there's the there's the pro settings for it though i, I just i you can't even customize it apparently you can't even change the livery on it can't even change the livery can you imagine that let's go into this event but you can't change the livery smh here we are oh and again it's another kind of long Slightly straight. This one's a bit more of a turny event. But I mean, it's another cool event. Okay, yep. Noted, you need to go tight through turns. Not go slightly. Not not turn like a hyper car. Turn like an Alpha GP car. Believe it or not. Um, also, doesn't have the brakes of a hyper car. Okay. Not gonna lie, this is the third time I've tried this. Okay, that tree might have actually helped. There we go. Now I'm not... I don't even... I, you know what? I'll do it later. Might actually just be better off not taking that shortcut at this rate. Let me try this. Okay, here we go. Well, I guess this wouldn't be the best for viewing. There we go. Let's switch back to this then. Jesus, actual... I've been, I'm so used to using the Alpha Mark X that a normal F1 car just looks so off-putting to me. Also feels bad like this is a proper f1 car but it just looks so odd because i'm so used to the alpha mark x okay this thing is bad this thing is bad this thing is bad okay it just swings and i guess now it's just the boring part of the race i'll, I'll skip to the turn i guess here we go now I, I know there's a grass cut you can do on the turn i through the trees i think at least not really sure how much it would really save you though very annoying that we have to use this disruption edition thing i did i, I really don't like it wasn't there only two alpha was there only two alpha gp cars back in the day there would have been the normal red bull thing and then there would have been the like because the rb14 was added with the disruption edition okay we're good and then the Alpha Mark X was added separately as well. Was there actually only two Alpha GP cars originally? Am I miscount? Am I missing one here? I might be, but I'm fairly certain there was only two Alpha GP cars on launch. That is, huh? A three minute forty nine. Yes, minute fifty seems to be the trend of today's summit video. But that trend has now come to an end. 114k. I think that might actually be the lowest score on the board. Oh, stick drift. Stick. Stick drift, stop. Yeah, it actually is. This is quite a high scoring summit, but we are in conclusion, a hundred, I'll get rid of my webcam, 1.3 million points, rank 53rd in the long haul summit. Not the worst, not the best. There's definitely room to improve. We could definitely get up there. GG's, that's that. Welcome back to the Sid Wadge here. Thank you to the members, the popular members, but then thank you to the famous members, the member above that. And then, skip into Icon. Thank you to Icon member for the love of life. Insane. But, that is about it from me. Of course, I did, however, promise an exclusive teaser at the end of this video. But, it's, it's not really exclusive now, because a lot of people have seen it. I think, like, at least 
March 2030, but here's the teaser for tomorrow's video. In a bit. Right, so some of you might already be subscribed to Mr. OTR over here, and some of you might have done a bit more than be just subscribed. Guys, where is the donation family at today, man? No love, boys. I got a member, I ain't complaining, but you know, I wanna buy a burger, cuz. But if that clip doesn't already show you that this guy is only in it for the money, today I'm gonna show you how OTR Gaming is the biggest clickbaiter on the crew, too. Right, 